we start with a second. Um, we start with Sefer Shmiras Halashon, and today's topic uh, in, uh, to inspire repentance. <clears throat> and it says, um, God would take note of the Mitzorah's repentance and would heal him on his affliction. The coin would go outside of uh, outside the Israelite camp to examine the Mitzorah. Having been declared healed by the coin, the Mitzorah would begin uh, the purification process, uh, which include uh, which included the offering of the temple service, service uh, sac temple sacrifices, as detailed in the Torah. Okay, so let's do this paragraph again, and we're going to explain uh, everything it says here. So it says, God would take note of Mitzorah repentance and would heal him of his affliction. So let's uh, let us to, to remind ourselves uh, that uh, this Mitzorah person, he's outside of the camp. And uh, as we said, this um, this malady is not, uh, is, is not something physical. It's not like you, you can uh, take some medicine and uh, or some put cream on this uh, on, uh, on his part and it's going, going to go away. No, it's uh, it's all spiritual. Uh, and it depends, uh, he, and his uh, recovery depends on, on his repentance, if the person is going to repent or not. Okay. The coin would go outside, uh, outside the Israelite camp to examine Mitzorah. And we said also that Mitzorah is uh, the, <coughs> the impurity is so, bi is so big that uh, that person has to leave um, the, all, all of the three camps. Right? Camp of the Shekhinah, camp of the... Uh, Levites in uh, Israelites, right? And and we said actually, if somebody touched the dead body, the impurity is not as as uh, severe as uh, as of Mitzora, so he can actually stay in, in his tent. Right? Very interesting. Okay, so the coin has to go to that person; he has no choice, and examine Mitzora. So uh, as we said, it's, it has, has nothing to do with the doctors, but it has everything to do with coins. So coin is a uh, um, is the one who is proficient in the laws of Mitzorah. Having been declared healed by the Kohen, so it, right, the, the Mitzorah would begin the purification process. So it's, it's not like uh, 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 the, the Kohen is going to say, you, you're healed, you're good, and you, the guy is going to go home. No, there is a purification process when they, they have to bring the offering. It's not uh, deep into the mikvah. It's not uh, like an easy process, which included the offering of the temple sacrifice, as detailed in the Torah, right? And uh, ju just think about it. So maybe the, this person, like today, like uh, take uh, any any person, like uh, if he goes, like uh, uh, if somebody, let's say, got uh, gets arrested, right? So he does not go to work for a few, few weeks, right? That that's exactly what's uh, what's going on here, right? Uh, exactly. Uh, he he goes uh, to to the quarantine for for seven days maybe for another seven days if he did not be too sure so many people would simply you know going to lose their work if they they're not going to show up for several weeks maybe three weeks four weeks i don't know whatever or if he it's his business so basically people are working for him or for her is going to are going to steal it's known fact right so and after that so, uh, and uh, after all of the losses i'm, I'm just uh, trying to to, to create a picture, right? After all of the losses, he has to even pay like uh, to buy a cow or to a sheep or something. Like uh, it's a lot of money. <laughs> Having benefited um, from the God's infinite kindness of being cured of his affliction and restored to the state of Tahara, uh, ritual purity, the person would then, uh, upon return home, surely uphold his earlier resolution he would beg forgiveness of those uh, he wronged and strive uh, with all his strength to avoid speaking Lashon Hara in the future. Thus, uh, he would uh, be completely cleansed of sin, of his sin. Okay, so let's do this paragraph line by line. We're going to explain what's going on. So we have, uh, we said, the having benefit from uh, God's infinite kindness, not in being cured or his affliction. So meaning uh, maybe person, uh, basically person, uh, is is not deserve uh, is not deserving more, most likely right uh, to be cured. Maybe his teshuva is not as uh, sincere. Maybe he did not resolve uh, like with whole wholeheartedly. 
that he's not going to do it again, right? So that's uh, kindness from Hashem. So he restored, it's like second chance or fifth chance, uh, right? Uh, to, to restore the stage of Tahara, racial purity. And person would, upon return to the home, surely uphold the earlier uh, resolutions. So these early, uh, early uh, resolutions meaning that uh, he never going to speak Loshan Hara again. And just uh, rem uh, rem uh, remembering how bad it was in this uh, solitude for, uh, for, uh, for several weeks. And uh, j just imagine in olden days there were no... Uh, uh, no telephone, nothing, right? So you, and the, the, this person would stay alone in this cave, in this hut or something for uh, uh, for for a few weeks. So it's uh, very very depressing. I, I would say even maybe scary, especially in the desert, right? With all of the scorpions and the snakes and whatnot. Okay. So and he he would do a resolution. So and he would be so grateful to Hashem, right? So he would. Uh, most likely to stick to the resolution. He would beg forgiveness of those he wrong. So what does it mean? So just, just to say to Hashem, I was wrong, and, uh, and uh, that's it. It's not enough. A person has to go to all of these people whom he wrong and ask them forgiveness. That's par part of the Teshuvah for, uh, um, uh, for the sins uh, between the man and man. You have to ask uh, uh, other, other person uh, forgiveness and make some restitution if, if needed. Otherwise, uh, the, the Teshuvah is not complete. Um, so one more time, the whole sentence, uh, and uh, he would uh, um, beg forgiveness for those wrong, wrong, uh, uh, he wrong, and strive with all his strength to avoid speaking Lashon Hara in the future, right? So because uh, he remember how, how much it cost him and how much, like, how much of uh, aggravation it cost him and his family, Right, an embarrassment that uh, can you imagine the the father like, uh, with uh, <laughs> yesterday he was with uh, with a beard and now he he has to shave himself in a beard beard and uh, all of the hairs on on the head and uh, eyebrows it's it's very very embarrassing so the, the kids would see like uh, the neighbor kids and say what happened to your father he looks very different who who is this man that uh, coming out of your house he said it's my father very funny. Right, so he would uh, he would uh, remember all of this, right? Thus, he would completely cleanse of his sins. So when a person uh, remember how how much it cost him to to get out of this uh, situation, so he would uh, most likely remember, and remember, and it would uh, be cleansed. Uh, he would be cleansed of his sin. Continue. One may wonder why uh, in our day the affliction of Sarah is not manifested. Upon those who habitually speak Lashon Hara, the Hida offered the following explanation. So Hida is a Chaim Yosef David Azulai, right? In Sefer Nachalas Kidu Kidunim. Okay. So the question: Why, if if it's uh, such a helpful uh, thing, right? So why Hashem does not perform it today? Right, if it's a help uh, people, especially habitual sinners, right, uh, to to get rid of it, okay, of, of this character thing, character character flaw, I would say. When God, so that's uh, answer from Hida, when God visits the uh, visits the punishment upon an individual, he does um, does it for the person's benefit to purify him uh, of his sin and to steer him toward the repentance. Now it was only during the temple era that Mitzorah would attain Tahara purification. Today, however, due to our sins, there is no temple, no sacrifice, and no way to, uh, for the Kohen to perform the other components of the purification process. Um, if God would, uh, were to afflict the person with Tzaras, he would uh, remain in his impure state for the rest of his life without any possibility of... Um, reading himself of it. Therefore, in absence of the temple, the impurity of this affliction uh, clings only to the soul, but not manifest in the person's body. So very interesting, and we're going to explain what he says. So uh, as, we, as we said, part of the uh, 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 cleansing uh, from, uh, from, from this uh, sin, right? he has to uh, uh, dip into the mikvah, 
uh, he has to that's possible today but uh, uh, he has to bring the, the sacrifice special sacrifice to birds when they uh, kill there when they let go and stuff like that so like uh, in, in a temple so it has to be in a temple so since uh, there is no uh, um, there is no way to to, f um, to purify the person that's why Hashem does not send uh, does not send this uh, impurity that's uh, that's uh, like simple logic same with, with uh, Nazirus so if a person cannot uh, declare himself uh, a Nazir why because there is no way out Right, uh, in order to come out of Nazirus, you have to bring the sacrifice and uh, do the whole procedure to you know, going out of this uh, state. Okay, let's stop here. No problem.